tulsi i must say is a very underrated plant probably because it is found in nearly every garden apart from its various uses i believe there is more to it i grow large quantities of this plant and i believe everybody should do so tulsi is a type of basil in this video i will tell you about all my basils and what i do to maintain them to their fullest all year leaf boy <laughs> the pot i use the roots of this plant are neither too deep nor too shallow so i would suggest that you approximate the size of the root ball by the size of the foliage that is one third the size of the foliage will be the size of the root ball this is how you select the perfect pot size here this pot is uh, quite small and there are three plants in it so i'll definitely sometime i guess by next year we'll have to change the pot to a bigger one the pot can be made of any material Although I would suggest a terracotta pot because it would let the roots dry out between watering as this plant is very prone to root rot. Soil mix. What I have in this pot is local soil, local garden soil and some cow dung fertilizer. Basil does not like clay soil because it is very prone to root rot again. Starting a new plant. Now if you don't already have a basil and you are planning to get one you can buy one from a nursery please see that it's healthy and has no pests or infections you can also sow its seeds but this method absolutely takes a lot of time and what is suggested that you take a cutting from a healthy plant and propagate it in water this is ridiculously fast all you have to do is take a cutting just under the node Keep the cutting in water for about 8 days and you will have roots growing. This works for all types of basils I'm very sure. Only make sure that you take a softwood stem and not a hardwood stem because that would take a long time to root or probably it might not even root. Watering. This plant doesn't like to dry out completely. Always water it immediately when you see the top layer of soil drying out. water completely until the water drains out from the drainage holes at the bottom in winter you water less because the soil doesn't dry out quick enough in summer you might water it every day over watering will cause root rot while under watering will cause the leaves to shrink and fall off sun requirements i give my basil all the available sun in a day that is about 8 to 10 hours of sun this plant loves sun sometimes in summer if the afternoon sun is too hot the the leaves of this plant will wilt and that will let you know that you may need to move this plant in the shed for a while if you don't give this plant enough sun this plant will absolutely fall sick and the immunity of this plant reduces tremendously i had this plant in backyard like i have a lot of small pots of basil all around the house it got very less amount of sun and when i moved it to the first floor balcony here because of the air circulation around its foliage and a lot of sun in the day it is never sick and there is not even one insect on this plant fertilizers i suggest you use natural fertilizers like i do because we do not put chemical fertilizers in plants that we eat tulsi is not a heavy feeder i must say add a fistful of fertilizer once in 2 months and that would be fine pruning there are three parts to it one removing the seed pods if you remove the seed pods the plant will put all its energy in the leaves instead in which you are interested if you are interested in seed pods you can keep one or two seed pods and remove the rest of them if the plant is allowed to grow all its seed pods the plant will actually believe naturally that the purpose of its existence is accomplished and the plant will slowly start dying which you don't want second is soft pruning when you harvest the leaves of this plant cut a stem from above a node a new stem with new leaves will grow from the node do not pluck the leaves of the plants like this because the plant will not grow new leaves from where the older leaves are plucked third is the hard pruning this pruning is done only in the growing seasons that is spring and monsoon what you do is that you cut the hardwood stem the hard wood stems short and allow it to grow more soft wood stems which will have nodes for more leaves and stem pest control honestly aphids and spider mites i guess are the ones that 
uh, trouble this plant a lot. Use a neem oil solution to spray once every two days until the pest is gone. You may as well cut off the infected part if possible. One very important thing is that you protect this plant in winter. It is very cold for this plant. You should cover it with a transparent plastic. The greenhouse effect created in the plastic will keep the plant warm, especially during the night time when it's very cold. You can as well move the plant indoors for night time and place in the sun immediately when the clouds are out. If you like below, I read all my comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching.